Okay, so Don't Breathe, number two. Uh, I really enjoyed the first one, actually, quite a lot. I really um, found it rather tense, like a really tense movie. It reminded me a bit of, um, it's kind of like a quiet place, really, in a sense, but it's with a blind dude. <laughs> um, so his hearing's very sensitive. When you think about it, it's kind of silly, but in the moment, it was very tense, like very tense. Like, I, I really... I really did enjoy it. I, I liked the movie a lot. So um, I, I thought it was pretty well filmed too. And just the way it was shot, it really added to the attention. And I thought the lighting looked very good. Just created an atmosphere, a really effective atmosphere. And along with that, the color palette. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed the first um, Don't Breathe. Perhaps I should, um, I should shut the window. There we go, traffic. <laughs> um, but yeah, I really enjoyed uh, the first one, um, quite a lot, yeah, like, um, I, I probably have to do a review on it, actually, I should do a review on it at some point, I will do a review on it, so, um, but anyway, let's get into this one, and, uh, yeah, let's see what I think. Just <laughs> a good aim for a blind dude. <laughs> Landing. Dang. Duh. Failed. The gun is in my hand. Sorry. I'll make it next time. You almost got me, didn't oh. you, boy? We had a lot of fun today. I could take her then next week. No. Home is safe. For Shadow! Coming with us, kid. <laughs> Get the girl. It's not me you need to be scared of, little girl. But the man standing next to you. Now I don't know who he is, but I know who he's not. Should I tell her or you? <laughs> He's gonna come for me. Now you're gonna see what I see. <laughs> it's pretty tense. Pretty. <laughs> Stephen Lang is the guy's name. I thought he was a good actor in the first one, too. He looks good in this, too. Uh, huh. So they've changed it to a point now where he's kind of like... They're changing roles. So he's like the good guy, and he's trying to get that girl back. Oh, huh, that's kind of cool. You know? I actually kind of like that. I thought they were going to do something where he went after the people from the, the first one. Because that's what it kind of seemed like they were hinting at, but... I like that they've done that. That's actually kind of neat. Flip the plot around. That's why I didn't really was saying much throughout the trailer. I usually like to try and comment at, you know, commentate as it's going. But I was like, oh, that's kind of neat. So they're, they're switching it up by making him kind of like the good guy. I mean, he did some messed up shit in the first one. <laughs> he did some messed up shit in the first one. I will never forgive your ass for this shit. This is some fucked up repugnant shit. But, that being said, Still, it's kind of cool. 
Hi. It seems kind of neat. Um, the lighting in color palette still seems pretty cool. Like they're using a lot of like deep blue, almost in a sense, which it, it looks cool. It looks cool. Um, they're using that kind of for the dark scenes, I guess, to really, um, like, I don't know. So it's not completely pitch black. You can still see shit for the viewer. They use blue to kind of make it dark. But yeah, it's that looks cool. I actually am kind of intrigued by that. Um, and yeah, the, having the, that, it's kind of like Taken, but with a blind dude. <laughs> That's pretty much what it is by the looks of it, kind of. Um, so yeah, I'm actually intrigued to see this. Um, I don't know if, did it say it was coming out this year? Oh, doesn't matter. I think, yeah, it's coming out this year or I guess next year, maybe early next year or something perhaps. But yeah, I'm definitely keen to see that. Um, yeah, I definitely will do a review on the first one. I, I will put that in my um, itinerary <laughs> to do. Alright, so that's it for this video. Um, yeah, wow. I was I was actually surprised by that. Um, yeah, I didn't know how to how it was going to be. Like, I, before I was going to watch the trailer, I was like, eh, it'll probably just be like, whatever. You know, just another thing he's chasing after people. You know, he's going after the people from the previous movie. But, no, that's kind of cool. They're switching the, kind of the protagonist, I guess you could say. Even though the first one, the protagonist, was still thieves. And some people had issue trying to, you know, go on their side or root for them as characters. I seem to get into it. I felt, but some people did have issue with that, which I guess is understandable, um, but I, I seem to get into it, but this one, I don't know if I'll find it as scary, I'll probably find it more badass, just seeing this, because you know, now the guy that was scary is now this fucking awesome killing machine, which is kind of absurd, like, I don't think sound, you can be like that good, like he's almost like Daredevil, basically, right, he's basically Daredevil, <laughs> which, whatever, I can kind of go with that. You know, I'm cool with that. Let's just say he's an older Daredevil. <laughs> he's just, yeah, the Daredevil character. Matt Murdock. He's Matt Murdock, alright? <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's it for um, this video. Tell me your thoughts on the trailer. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Do you... What did you think of the first one? Did you like the first one? Are you keen to see it? Um, yeah, just, you know, love to have a conversation in the comments below. And, uh, yeah, till next time. Catch you later.